I really don't want to do this with sunglasses on, but it's kind of bright out here. Sorry. <laughs> Should I take them off? Ooh. So I'm in one of my favorite places to relax, which is Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't know why I love it here so much. Maybe there's something like dry heat that I'm just not used to whatsoever, but I'm also a huge fan of the Cosmopolitan Hotel, so that's where I am right now. Let's see if we can do this. If you've been following me on social, you know that I just got done presenting at Creative Live, which is an incredible production in San Francisco and Seattle. And they basically allow you to teach something to their community for a whole day or sometimes multiple days live. You can probably guess that this production is so much work. It's funny because I actually thought after the book Vlog Like a Boss came out that I was going to create my own course. And I think I've had this talk with you guys before. I just decided, no, I don't, I don't want to. And I especially felt that way when they came to me and said that they were willing to help me make a class because that level of production was exactly what I wanted for Vlog Like a Boss. And I don't know that I could have just done all of that on my own. They, they really have it streamlined there. They've been doing this for years and it was just an absolutely perfect fit. You know, just as much as I would have my, hello, hello back there. <laughs> We're gonna go back and forth here. So just as much as I would have my own course, I put a lot of time and energy and planning into the Creative Live class and I'm really happy with how it turned out. One of the things I talk about that I know you're familiar with is the authority video formula. I teach this everywhere I go, every stage I walk on, anytime I work with a client or anybody that wants to know how to vlog better, I made basically this formula that helps you do a better job from start to finish in your videos. And this has come up recently online and it definitely is something I thought about as I was teaching this at Creative Live. You know, I put on this formula that the end of the timeline which is essentially the length of your video, should be about two to five minutes. So I've gotten questions online and, and things like that because you know, today with video, long form is a really, really, really good idea. These platforms like Facebook and YouTube, they want lots of watch time. And so if you make a longer video, which you've probably seen I've been doing here lately, you will essentially get more watch time because every minute one view, one person, gives you over the duration of that video. I mean, obviously that's a lot of watch time, but that's a very powerful thing to help you with your channel growth. So I've got, obviously gotten questions about this because if my authority video formula says your video should only be two to five minutes long, but watch time is the key to everything these days, what's, you know, what's the balance there? <gasps> oh my gosh, the Bellagio fountains are gonna, no, they're cleaning them right now. No, there's no way that those are gonna go off right now. Oh my God, that would not be good. They're very loud. So here's my answer to this. Watch time is a beautiful thing when people are watching. That's the key to it. <laughs> but if people are not watching, then the length of your video might be holding you back from the potential of that growth. Viewers more watch time. So that's why, you know, I kind of wanted to talk about this because it also answers another question of like why my videos have been different. Yes, motorcycle, get it. You've probably seen in the last few weeks and definitely over a period of time that my videos have gotten significantly longer than where they were, you know, especially when I first started, but in recent years as well. I sort of showed up on the scene as like the quick tip will give you advice and something you can do right now in less than five minutes. That's how people sort of knew me and the jump cut style that I used too was certainly uh, helpful because it m even made any video, no matter what the length, feel even more fast paced. That's why I still recommend that two to five minute length of a video when you're getting started. And the authority video formula is very useful for everybody, but I think that's a critical piece and a lot of it too, there are a lot of things there that are helpful for someone that's like literally got nothing going on. They're just trying to get a good product out there. They want people to watch their content, but they're not really sure what the flow is that should be taking place to make that happen. Once you get to a certain point and you press publish, let's say on YouTube, you go, all right, this is going public. The fact that you have somebody that's gonna show up to that video as soon as it goes live, watch it, things start to change a little bit. 
when you're first getting started that's not always the case like yeah you might show up in the subscription feed of a couple of hundred people but the likelihood they'll be there as soon as it goes live to watch is not very good when I hit publish on a video I see hundreds of people come in in that first hour. I feel that that is how you know you can take certain liberties when you are publishing content because when you know people are going to show up and help you if a video is good or let you know if a video is bad immediately, that's an incredible opportunity. Certainly one where you can try new things big time. I'm sorry if this is getting wobbly, but like we don't have the tripod because this is our day off. That's what I wanted to talk about this. Why my videos have been different is because I want to be able to offer more in every single project. If I'm going to publish less than I used to, because right now it's about two times a week instead of three days a week, which is where I was in you know the last number of years and very religiously so. If I'm going to post less, I want to be able to give more in each project. And because I've kind of pulled you in and proven myself, at least that base level audience, I can try new things because of that. So I actually got a tweet about this recently recently where someone said, you know, if watch time is more important these days, do you think that your authority video formula max number um, of two to five minutes needs to be updated? And to that I said, if no one's watching your two minute video, then they're definitely not going to watch your 20 minute video. You have to remember like those timestamps are really, really useful for people, especially if they're seeing you in search and they don't know who you are. They're going to look at that and go, that's a long time. When are they going to get to their point? If they don't know you, if they're not committed to the brand yet. That's like, that could be a huge, a huge deterrent of viewers. Like, big time. Like, who are you? You're going to give me a piece of content to watch and it's like literally going to take half hour of my life and I don't even know what you do well yet, I gotta get there. So that's why I'm telling you that the short form, although I do think you should balance it and try new things and see if you can say, okay, here's a couple of short videos, but I'm gonna throw in one that's a little bit more lengthy, whether it's more podcast style or something like that every once in a while, so that I can balance the watch time need that I have. Because if the average amount of time that people are watching a video percentage wise is 50%, 50% of two minutes is not good. You know, you're talking about one minute of watching time for one view. 50% of a 20 minute video is fabulous. You're talking about 10 minutes for one view. But if you can't even get them in because of that timestamp, that's where this is a problem. Too many people are thinking, my video is so bomb, that's all I need. On YouTube, we are not even looking at video when we decide to watch your video. We're looking at a title and a photo. Now I know the things are changing on the front page of YouTube and we're starting to see like a couple of like teaser GIF moving picture things in order to decide if we want to watch a video or not. But the thumbnail, that that photo is still a huge visual um, thing that is going to compel us to watch. So that and your title. You could have the best 20 minute video of all time, but if those two things didn't help somebody click, what does it matter? And certainly if they see it's 20 minutes long, they're gonna be like, I don't even think this is worth it. Bad, that's bad news. So that's why my videos have been very different. I'm now challenged to do the same job that I've promised that I will do. And that's show up, teach you something, help you go after the life you want, vlog like a boss, all those things. But now with wanting to give you a little bit more storyline behind it, I have to show to tell. And that is the world that we're living in today. You have to show to tell. You can't just talk to a camera all the time and think people will want to sit there and listen to you. I'm very grateful if you wanted to sit here and listen to me today, but I'm making it more interesting in a lot of my content by taking you along for the ride so you can actually see what I'm trying to teach. That's a, that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Talking head video is not enough to carry somebody to a, a, a higher brand these days. It's too competitive in 2017 and definitely in the coming years. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my story. I'm very, um, I'm very, very happy to be getting questions like this because I think it's really a huge sign of the fact that, the, that you are getting smarter about this. You're making more conscious decisions about all of these things when they come to your brand and your video and all of these things. And so I just, I, I love that we're having this conversation right now. Even if this hasn't occurred to you yet, it's a definitely a very good thing to be thinking about because we don't think how someone's gonna receive our video 
in certain ways sometimes we forget that the the little things like what's the number length of time on a video that that this thing says or what is what's the title maybe they didn't phrase it just that quite right maybe the thumbnail is a little bit too obscure all these little things could be taking away from the fact that you did this amazing project this is a very important topic for us to discuss I'm sorry it's like loud out here and there's helicopters and all that but I just was feeling all right we gotta shut it down feeling very inspired in, in one of my favorite vacation spots um we came out here actually to try some restaurants for the wedding which is in September and actually it couldn't have been better timed because I really needed like downtime after the wild ride that was creative life so anyway I'm just like so grateful if you tuned in for that thank you so so much I think they were really stoked to see how many of you showed up and were tweeting and and live in the comments and things like that so I mean like that means the world that's something that I don't want to take for granted and I want you to know that I don't know what I would do without you. If I wanted to achieve that, there it wouldn't be possible. It just absolutely would not be possible without you. I have got to finish this coffee before we try to take a few minutes to go to the pool before we have to rush to the airport. That's all for today's socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes. Thank you so much for being here for me. I appreciate it so much. And um, I'm definitely looking forward to showing you in the next video more behind the scenes of how Creative Live went. Uh, I'm enlisting the help of our new cinematographer at Aftermark, Blake Gidry. He did a lot of filming of me that day because I was not in my right mind to film myself. It was just not gonna happen. So that one's definitely gonna be a little bit different than usual. So subscribe so you don't miss that coming up this week. Don't forget, go after the life you want because it is so freaking much fun. Am I right? Oh yeah, I'm right. <laughs>